I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna call it like I see it. They gonna snort. He gonna snort up the check. Rasby, we gonna hold it for you. All right. Moving on. Orlando, we gonna hold yours too. Sorry. Because that don't make me beat your way. Hey y'all, what's up? So today, y'all, uh, I really wanted to get into the Bad Boys Club. So I know I'm like really known for Baddies T and giving y'all insights on all of that kind of stuff. But with the new season of Bad Boys uh, Texas, I think it's called premiere tomorrow or tonight. I'm sorry. Whew, see, look, I be getting my days mixed up, y'all. I be getting my shit mixed up. But I want to get into their tea. I really want to let's get to know the cast before the show come out. So, you know, when the show come out, we already got an idea of who we seeing and what we doing and who, what the dynamic is between these people and what the backstory is on them. So, as far as the cast goes, I really didn't see nobody too special on it. Like, Zeus has started doing this thing. They really got their formula pegged out as far as how they pick who they put on their shows. They take people, they take washed up celebrities who ain't had a good day, a good paycheck in about 10, 15 years. They take um, social media stars who got a big following but not too big so they ain't got to pay them too much. And, you know, they really put them on the show and give them they, you know, give them they second hurrah. So, as far as the cast, I'm only talking about the people that matters. So, we only going to speak on Orlando Bloom. I said Bloom. Girl, what? Orlando Brown, um, Raz B, Jonathan, Durelli, and Prince. Them are the only ones I care about. Everybody else, we'll just see y'all when the show starts, baby. We didn't know you before. We don't care now. So, I'm seeing it for Prince. I really am. I'm going to start off with him. I'm seeing it for Prince. You know what I'm saying? Prince ain't had a good paycheck in a minute. We ain't seen Prince on uh, TV since. I don't even know if they picked him to do Love & Hip Hop, the reunion special. So I don't think we've seen Prince on TV since Love & Hip Hop Hot Miami went off. And that was a few years ago. So um, I'm really I'm really looking forward to seeing Prince. And plus, we need some eye candy on this motherfucker. Did y'all see that cast? That's an ugly-ass cast. No shade. I'm not even about to front with you, uh, Zeus, baby. That's an ugly-ass cast. Y'all ain't got no eye candy on here. And that's something I want to talk about. Bitch, let me talk about that for a motherfucking minute. Let me sideline and slide down the motherfucking back row for a minute. Zeus, I know y'all limb... I know you, Bad Boys Club is really your dream. Bad Boys Club is really Lemuel's, I wish I was on Bad Girls Club, so let me invent this for me and my homeboys. That's really what it is. I think I'm a bad boy. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Lem wish he could be on the show, I feel like. So, he picked people who more are in line with, I feel like, his version of what he feel like Bad Boys Club should be with. More so than what the fans feel like Bad Boys Club should be. Because real talk, Bad Boys Club should be 90% gay men. I'm just going to be the one to say it. And the re here's the reason why. You cannot get the Bad Girls Club or the baddies effect with straight heterosexual men on that cast. Did y'all see what Curtis and Moolah did last season? Every time some gay shit was coming on, they was raining on a parade. They had the gay niggas acting straight. They were scared to even be themselves because every time they did, you got Curtis and Moolah saying something. Oh, these two gay. Oh, separating people. Oh, the gays over here, the straights over here. What you like, pussy? What you like? Like, you really had it mixed up. And that's not what we want to see. We want to see niggas kissing. We want to see the fine niggas fucking. We want to see that. That's what we want to see. We want to see them go out to the club and dance with each other. We want to see them come back to the house and get drunk and end up in each other's bed. We can't see that with straight people on the cast. Now, I'm not saying straight people shouldn't be involved. We should definitely have straight men for, for a contrast. However, they are boring. Let's be, let's be fair. Let's be clear here. They are boring, girl. Straight men don't give what gay men give on a reality show. That is what it is. And for that reason, it's a limit to how straight men can interact with each other, especially when you're talking about black or Latino gay men. It is a limit to how close they can bond without looking gay or without feeling, um, um, you know, that way. 
Yes, I still got my Taco Bell cup. Fuck y'all. If you got a problem with me and my Taco Bell cup, girl, I'm going to keep my Taco Bell cup, period. Shit. I can hit the lotto tomorrow. Guess what? I'm going to go get me a, a, a fifth of Hennessy and I'm going to drink it out of my Taco Bell cup. Thank you. But um, so back to what I'm saying. Prince is the only eye candy on there. Then we get over to, or uh, not Orlando, I'm sorry, Razby. This 40-year-old washed up ass singer with a mental disability. You know what I'm saying? In childhood trauma, he just don't want to go to a therapist about. Now, him and Orlando is one and the same. I feel like they're both two you know, has been men who, who who were at one time idolized and worshipped by their fans and then they had to go through that awkward phase of being forgotten and now they're in that later life phase of trying to redefine themselves. And they're both trying to do it with a lot of trauma and a lot of mental health issues. So I feel like Rasby and Orlando Brown is like one in the same basket. It's like two eggs in the same basket with that. However, I feel like Raz B, when it came to that millennial tour, he lost his rabbit ass mind. Y'all remember Raz B on the millennial tour? Y'all remember how bougie he was acting and he was cussing out fans and, and going to clubs, acting up and stuff like that? Like he really took the took having he took having his celebrity back a little bit too too good. Okay, I don't know if he was on that booger sugar, baby. But Rasby was acting the fuck up the last time he got some fame. So I don't know if I really want to. We might not have to hold his check. We're going to have to hold Rasby check for about four to six weeks, bitch, after the show has, has aired. Just so we can make sure, you know, he don't, he don't, he don't get that, 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 that premiere rush. You know, when the girls get their check, they get their upfront money and they, and they run off. Do the premiere happen? They start getting all these club bookies. They start getting all this popularity. And then they go, they start snorting all their money up. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to call it like I see it, bitch. They going to snort. He going to snort up the check, bitch. Rasby, we going to hold it for you, all right? Moving on. Orlando, we going to hold yours too. Sorry. But um, moving on. So, I see it for Rasby, but we going to have to. I'm, 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 I'm really apprehensive on him. Um, Durelli, I'm glad Durelli is on the show because we need the comedic relief. Durelli really is a comedian, girl. He really be making us laugh. So, yeah, I see it for Durelli on the show. Jonathan. I like Jonathan on this show, and here's why. They need a villain. They need a motherfucking villain. We had Stunner Girl and Tommy was the two villains of Bad Baddies West. We need a villain on this show, and that's one thing Jonathan can do, bitch, is play a motherfucking villain. So we do need Jonathan on this show. However, I want Jonathan to make sure he's toting that line, that very thin line between villain and bully. Don't let... This shit looked too bad on you, Jonathan. Because I, I saw how he was in the previews, how he was yelling at Rasby and stuff. Hold on. Whew. I don't know what it is about water, bitch. Don't nothing hit don't nothing hit the way water hits. Some cold ice and with ice in it, bitch. Oh wee, bitch. When your mouth is dry, ain't nothing like it. So I really want Jonathan to understand and, and handle Rasby and Orlando with care. Because it can really come off like bullying because they already got mental health issues. You know, Jonathan, you already got a reputation for being a bully from what you did with Rio in that goddamn lawn chair or whatever, bitch. That foldable ass motherfucking um, lawn chair you hit him with. And you done chased him down the street, beating that bitch like a pinata up and down that driveway, girl. You done snatched out his motherfucking canker lawn and now he uh running around this bitch with a hairline to the back of his motherfucking neck. I don't know what happened to Rio's hairline, if it was Beijing or what happened, bitch. But after he snatched them dreads off, bitch, Rio aged about 15 motherfucking years. <laughs> anyway, girl, don't come off as a bully, Jonathan. I don't want that for you because I really want to see it for you this season, okay? I already see it for you. Just don't come off as a bully. Moving on. Who else was on there? Who else matters? Who else matters? Oh, last but not least, Orlando Brown. And here's where I dig into Zeus' ass a little bit. Zeus, bitch. Hold on. I'm sorry, I had to end that video, girl. Someone was telling me I was about to run out of film, bitch, and I had to go ahead and end it. But, um, yeah, Zeus has this thing where they take the downtrodden, the destitute, 
the 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 foolish and the misrepresented and they put them on TV because they got these wacky ass personalities they make a shit ton of money off of them running a campaign around their ass they use them to promote the hell out of their show and then they dump them they dump them in the goddamn gutter and we've seen this happen time and time again we saw it happen to um, Gutter K we saw it happen to who else? Bobby Lights. No shade. Bobby did his little shit. Bobby did his show. But after Bobby did his show, where Bobby at now? Pumped up, high as hell, coked up somewhere in somebody's motherfucking closet. I don't know, bitch. But after these shows, we just see this, this downslide, this pipeline where it's like, bitch. On Monday, you was this bad bitch. We was all loving you. You was on our TV screen. And on Friday, you coked up, drugged out, messed out, homeless, helpless. And on OnlyFans, bitch. And it's just starting to get to the point where it's like, is Zeus, is Zeus the, the link? Is Zeus doing this to these people? We didn't see this happen with VH1. And I'm not going to yell out no producer names or anything like that. But VH1, y'all do got to take some accountability. A lot of y'all reality TV stars do slide down the pipeline after they come off of y'all shows. And we're seeing the same thing happen to Zeus. Um, Gutter K, prime example. Bitch was homeless before he got on the show. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was homeless. He was living like with friends, living in other motels. Then Gutter got on the show. Gutter got popping. Went viral, all those things. He was getting club bookings, going from here to here, in and out of jail, this, that, and the third. Boom. There go. Gutter started getting in trouble left and right. Gutter didn't have, I don't even think Gutter had a proper management team. Gutter was still, went for, I don't know how you're doing, bookings, $5,000 a night club bookings. And you're living out of motels. Gutter went right back from the show. Living out of motels. Gutter money. Gone. Gutter. No representation. No music was being put out. No music videos was being shot. Nothing. All we got from Gutter the whole time after his uh thing from Bad Boys was freestyles. And for Zeus to have made as much money as they made off of Gutter K, I feel like they really should have handled him with more care. I know him and Natalie ended up falling out and maybe that's why they didn't really take his, take interest in him and really uplift him. Gutter should have had his own show. Gutter should have definitely been on Bad Boy Season 2 and he should have been an EP. If there was to be an EP title given out, it should have went to Gutter K. Let's not act like Bad Boys Club was not built off the back of Gutter K. Gutter, Gutter going viral, his viral sayings all over that show, that's why... That show, when it premiered, it got as much attention as it got because we saw those we saw those viral clips before we saw the show. He was the star boy off of that show. Gonna carry Bad Boys Club. Yes, Jonathan helped. Yes, Kirk Franklin's son helped. Because them the only two that really had a good storyline. But Gunna carried that show. So... For him to be in a situation that he is now where he's on OnlyFans getting fucked by a 40-year-old porn star, you know, for $4 subscriptions, bitch, I don't really think that Zeus did all they could for little, for, the, for little brother. You know what I'm saying? And Orlando... We saw in the, pre the previews, what did we see them pulling him out of jail? They pulling up to a jail, bailing him out. Now, is this about to be another one of them situations where y'all bail Orlando out, get him to do the show, throw him away afterwards, uh, or, or book him an uh, um, a Uber, send him to a, a, the local motel, and <laughs> wash your hands of him afterwards? Here go 15000 Here go 10000 See you, See you never? Or are we actually going to see these people have the resources set up for them to where when they do get this money, they do have options. I know it's not no network's responsibility to make sure that people go off and be great in life with their money and tell people to do their money. It's not. 
And that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is this. If you know these people come from nothing, you know these are poor black people or, 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 or has been black people who ain't seen a good check in 20 years. And you know that once they get this money, it's going right up their nose, right in their arm, right wherever it's going. You know once they leave that show, they're going back to a motel. You know you picked them up at a jail. Ask these people, hey, do y'all need us to set up you with a homeless counselor? Because I know we, we know you ain't got nowhere to stay. Do you need me to set you up with a homeless counselor after the show? Do y'all need us to uh take y'all money and give it to y'all on a week-by-week -week basis? Give it to a um payroll service who can pay you out on a week-by-week -week basis? Do y'all need us to refer y'all to an account that can set up y'all a trust? Do y'all need us to set y'all up with a life coach who can actually show y'all how to go get apartments and how to go get these resources and get EBT cards or whatever the case? Because no shade, I'm not trying to say that everybody who leaves a zoo show is broke and poor. No, a lot of y'all do great. A lot of y'all go off to do great. But we saw Roly Poly was on food stamps. Okay? When we saw her life and saw her go live, she told us she was on food stamps, got her living at a motel. Rio was living out of a motel. Okay? Island Boy had already exposed Bobby Lights that he was broke wearing fake clothes. Okay? Like, all of this stuff, these people clearly don't have the resources to be great that they need. And just because you are one of the top black networks right now, I feel like Zeus more popping than BET right now. Care about your people, Lim. Care about your people a little bit. Because no other network is going to care about these people. And y'all taking these people, making millions of dollars off of them and throwing them back in the gutter like they not shit. These are black people. You feel me? And if you going to have the nerve to make a coin off of them, at least had a nerve to, to point them in the right direction afterwards. And that's all I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe I'm ranting. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just running my mouth. But at the end of the day, this is how I feel. So y'all drop down in the comments and let me know how you feel. And get ready for the uh, premiere tonight, boo. Because it's going up. I'm going to um, do my thing tomorrow. I sure am. Um, definitely going to be reviewing. Definitely going to be reviewing Bad Boys. And definitely going to be reviewing the Baddies reunion. So y'all go ahead and watch that. And I'll talk to y'all later, girl. Oops. Hold on, before I forget, it's something I gotta say. It's something that's weighing on my mind, bitch. It's something that been harping on me that I just need to get this monkey off my back. And that is, y'all, my cash app. It's right here. Okay, so listen. Um, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. And thank y'all so much for helping me build this channel. Um, but you know how I get down. I need us to build us up a little more. And when I say us, I'm talking about my supporters. Okay. I love this setup. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm real we, humble beginnings, humble beginnings. But like I told y'all, I want the backdrops. I want the green screens. I want the, you know, the 3d cameras in the four. I, we we got to do that for us. You know, I want the studio lights and all of that stuff and to do interviews. I want to bring these people on that I'm talking about. Y'all think I wouldn't want to reach out to Biggie and say, Biggie, girl, come on here and do an interview. Or Stunner, girl, come on here and do an interview, girl. You know, but we got to actually be able to look the part. You feel me? Anyways, that's what this cash app is for, y'all. It's for the channel. It's not for me. I'm not paying my bills off of this cash app, girl. Trust me, believe. Y'all not giving enough for me to do that anyway. But I do want us to, you know, I did buy some stuff today to do a little art project. A little, I'm, 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 I'm going to show y'all later. But you know what I'm saying? I took a little bit of y'all cash out money and I went to the store and I got some art supplies. So I'm going to show y'all that later. But I just want y'all to grow with me. Keep growing with me. Love on me as I love on y'all. And yeah, y'all, let's just grow together. Okay, baby? Whew. That's all, baby. I ain't got no more. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.